I didn't know I had this on the table. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. It was uh, reviewing a scientific paper on eating, eating some uh, cashews and almonds. Sorry for exposing my nuts there, but... <laughs> See, that was a joke. <laughs> I made a joke. Uh, it was an unintentional joke, actually. That was uh, completely spontaneous, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> this video is going to piss a lot of people off, but it's true. You have to ask yourself this question before I talk about this in this video. The question is, do you care about the truth? Or are you completely immersed in your belief system and, and the things that you think, feel, and believe. I talked about this in a live stream like less than a week ago. I found it astonishing. So many people were, this made them angry. Ooh, ooh. I used to repair laptops. I'm a bit of a, a laptop nut. Um, I used to be number one person in the world for answering tech support questions about the MacBook Air. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I still have some articles of mine I wrote for Apple. It's, it's on their website. So You can say I'm a bit of a, a laptop guru. I definitely am. Yeah, definitely. So, Anyway, there's a few people like this on YouTube. I'm not singling anybody out, even though I'm sure you're going to think that I am. They, they make videos about laptop repair. And this real, because someone else brought this up in live stream, and, and I'd like to address this and get to the facts of the matter. People get attached to their laptops of experiences, and so, so did I. I had an old Sony Vio. Man, that thing was just built like a tank. It was just awesome. But I used it for years and years, and it becomes slower than a constipated turtle, relatively, you know, relative to what was out there. But man, that sucker was just a, a beast. It was just, it was just a honeypot of a laptop. You get attached to it. It's like, you know, need to give it up. So people, when they want like an old dinosaur poop, of a laptop repaired, they get attached to it. It's like, you know, it's going to cost you a lot more to fix this thing than it's worth. And when you fix it, it's still going to be an old dinosaur poo. You should take that money and go buy something like a million times faster than this. But people get sentimentally attached, kind of like a child has a whoobie. I don't know if you know what a whoobie is, but it's like a blanket. And like a child might have been slobbering. I don't have a whoobie, by the way. <laughs> child might have been slobbering on the whoobie. You know, for 20 years, it's got holes in it, and it's ratty and dirty, and might have creatures living in it. <laughs> Do they still want it fixed? It's like, I can't part with my whoobie. That's how people are about their laptops. Huh? Um, and I carry no weight for Apple at all, okay? I never liked Steve Jobs. Um, as someone who's seen the inside, uh, inside of some things at Apple, I'll just say things. I'll tell you flat out, and people, and I know some people that were some close friends of mine, they have since moved away, that worked for Apple. Apple does not treat its people well at all. I mean, they absolutely don't. So I really don't, even though I have a lot of Apple laptops, including, you know, this old iMac sitting here, my iPad, my iWatch, and, you know, whatever. I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't carry any weight. See, so someone's going to say in this video, you're just carrying weight for Apple. You're just an Apple fanboy. It's like, well, I'm a huge fan of, you know, the iOS interface, and we could talk about all about that, but we don't need to. It's not for purposes of uh, this video. Anyway, we had this debate in live stream. It really pissed people off, but I laid out the facts, and the facts are the facts. There's a few people on YouTube, they, and their skills really are great. They'll whip out a microscope, they'll uh, desolder a capacitor, a, a subcomponent, on modern laptops for the past 10 plus years, depends on who makes the laptop. There's really only, once again, depends on the laptop, between 6 to 12 major parts, right? You know, you open up a MacBook Air, whatever you think of Apple, it looks like a piece of jewelry today. It's just so, so, so simple. You have a main board, you have a uh, power supply board, and you, and uh, I actually haven't taken the most recent MacBook Air part uh, running the, the newest uh, chip. You have uh, the LCD display, you have, uh, um, we have the battery system, and then uh, usually, uh, well, on the MacBook Pros, there was a, uh, a fan power board that was separate. So anyway, only a few major components, right? So there are people on YouTube, there's only a 
couple primary ones, and they'll boast about how evil Apple is. Once again, I don't carry weight for Apple. Don't 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 carry weight for Apple. I don't like the company ethos. I never liked Steve Jobs. Never did like him. Never, never, never. Anyway, let's talk about how evil Apple is. Uh, and let's just get to the facts really quickly here, even though I've flapped my lips unnecessarily for a little too long. So, yeah, Apple's so easy. They're sitting here with a microscope, okay? They got fantastic skills for repair. Undeniable. You know, the wick away, the old solder. I got two soldering irons over here, right? You can't see them. If I have need to grab one, I will. I grew up soldering. So these people's skills of diagnostics on like uh, motherboards and subcomponents, great. And their wear and tear on uh, laptops, especially at the hinge, where the uh, the cable feed that feeds uh, power and uh, data between the main board and the, you know it breaks. You look for certain things, or you know, maybe somebody spilled a drink on it. It's like we can't fix it. There's corrosion on it. They'll these people on YouTube. They'll talk about how great they are, and their skills really are great. But what they make a a, a horrific mistake on and it's glaring and it's just flat out a lie and that's exactly what it is the flat out lie as they'll say a apple should be ashamed of themselves for you know they want eight hundred dollars to replace the main board all it was was like a two dollar resistor of course they don't mention the hundreds of dollars you know they also charge which is fine because people's time is worth money to diagnose which little component was broken which today is a lot faster and, uh, you know, to desolder that little subcomponent, often using a microscope because they're really, really small. The reason why these uh, YouTubers, and there's other people on this, uh, on YouTube, and also too on the internet, that are just flat out uh, wrong and they're lying, because they're not stupid. I have to say demonstrably that they're lying, because I know they're not stupid, is that no computer company, I'm just going to talk about laptops, even though it refers to other computers, including iMacs and so on and so forth. The reason why they're lying is that no company does that. No company, whether it be Apple or any other company, does that. They don't do subcomponent, you know, sitting there taking an old dinosaur pooper, or even a modern computer. And like I say, you know, something happened to it, things happen. It's like, it's just slightly out of warranty, but it's a fairly new computer. You know, they want to charge you X number of hundreds of dollars for a main board. It's not just Apple that does that. It's all these companies that do that. And there's a reason for it. And it is very, very simple. And I guess I should have made this video a little shorter. Is that when Apple and these other companies hire people to do laptop repair, just in the case of laptops only I'm talking about here, they hire uh, an unskilled uh, goof they doesn't need much training. Use diagnostic elimination tools. Like a laptop only has really 10 major components in it, depending on the laptop, okay? In case of the air, it's very, very few. Diagnosing is really easy. You have a diagnosing, diagnosing tool, you do quick diagnostic eliminations. Like, okay, it's the power board, which might be a little board like that, in the case of an older MacBook Air. That's the problem. Well, you don't identify the subcomponent that's a problem on the board. You identify this is a problem. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to replace, boom, this component with the major component that's broken. In the case of the motherboard, it might be a $2 resistor that's bad on the motherboard. But if the mother motherboard comes up bad, they take the whole motherboard out, yeah, put in a new one. And so these YouTubers will say, Apple's so evil. This is just a $2 resistor. You're right, but Apple nor any other computer company hires these uh, mostly untrained goofs. They would have to train uh, these uh, young goofs, most cases are young, an enormous amount to be able to do that. You would never ever do that. It's cost stupid. Let me repeat that again. It's cost stupid. It's time stupid. It is the most illegitimately, illegitimate, uneconomical uh, method of insanity no company follows. Not Apple, not any company. Let's see which, which is cheaper in the case of a company. Let's say there's a $2 resistor born, uh, blown on a uh, $600 motherboard, right? You could train somebody for a year and a half to do subcomponent desoldering and repair, which is just astronomically expensive and totally stupid. Or you could train a goofball to use a diagnostic tool and like say a month or two of training, usually less than that, 
to plug in some stuff. It's like, oh, this is the major component that's failed. You remove that component that's failed, replace it with a replacement. No company does that. Yeah. So when these people say this about the laptop repair, they're flat out lying. Now, from your perspective, since it's your laptop and it's just slightly out of warranty, for example, you're like, well, this is just stupid. Apple wanted to charge me $800 for my motherboard replacement. All it needed was a $2 resistor or a $20 capacitor. Well, you're empirically and existentially accurate, but you're ultimately wrong because Apple would never, ever, ever, nor any other company, because none of them do it, not just Apple, all of them, they would never ever train somebody for a year, year and a half to do super detailed diagnostics and, you know, train them how to desolder and, you know, all the little tricks. And stuff. You would never do that. Never. No company can operate that way with a profit margin. If we just got done training 10 people the super expertise methodology of uh, subcomponent desoldering and replacement. It's like, what? Yeah, now we can put them to work. Like, no, we just got done training 30 goofs. Took us 30 days to train 30 goofs. All they have to do is identify the major component that failed, pop it out, unscrew it, meow, 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 meow. pop in a new one, slap the back, uh, the bottom plate on uh, the laptop, you know, charge the person for the fix. They all do that. So, these people's skills on desoldering subcomponents is undeniable. I know how to desolder stuff. I don't use I don't desolder my microscopic components that require a microscope to desolder because I'm just not going to do it. But people are like, look at my soldering skills. Look at my diagnostic skills. Yeah, your soldering skills and desoldering skills, your diagnostic skills on uh, laptop diagnostics are, are stellar. But no computer company would do that because it's insanely stupid to do an enormous amount of training for something that they could train someone 30 days, you know, how to do major component failure diagnostic elimination and just replace it. So... I find it odd that people are fighting with me in live stream over this. It's like, because this is, this is where the real fight occurs. People are right in thinking. It's like, why, why should I need an $800 motherboard when it's only a $2 resistor that failed? Well, from that perspective, you're right. But what you completely fail to understand from Apple or IBM or anybody else that makes a laptop, Asus, all of them, is that they don't train their flunkies to do that. They would never, ever do that. Never, ever, ever. None of them do. None of them. None of them do it. Anybody, what about the right to repair? Hey, if it's your laptop, you can screw the bottom plate off of it and you can repair whatever the hell you think it is you think you can repair. If you have the skills, which you probably don't. I love what people talk about. What about the right to repair? Everybody has the right to repair their own stuff. Might void the warranty, so what? Doesn't mean I can't take this apart or anything apart and repair it. But I have to have the skills and I have to have the replacement parts. That's the only two things that I have to have. Most people don't have the replacement parts. But even if they could get them, do they have the skills? Probably not. Anyway, I'm sure this video will piece, piss people off, but that doesn't bother me. The only thing that I care about is facts, logic, and wisdom and whether what I said was accurate or not. And what I did say in this video was accurate. And it's also, too, undeniable. There we are with that. Goodbye.